Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Diane Desiel and today I'm going to show you how to make the pattern of that cute dolman sleeve top that we did the assembling in my last video. Today's pattern was to answer a request I got from Jessica. She sent me a picture asking me how to do this dress. So I did find out the technique to get the sleeve in one piece and attached to the front. And just for you to know, Jessica, this is the same technique that I would use for chiffon or for a knit top like I'm doing today. To make today's pattern, I'm using the dolman block that I did in one of my last video and I used the maximum angle. Now the first thing I did is on my block, I decide the length I want my sleeve to be. And remember that the sleeve is going to go around your elbow. So you need to add a little extra. In that case, I just put my sleeve over from the shoulder point and find out my elbow level. Then I had about eight centimeter to turn around and to make it loose at the elbow level and I mark it on my block. Then I trace a square line and fold my pattern. I did the same thing for the back and the front so my measurements are exactly the same. Now we're going to start the plan on a large piece of paper where you're going to trace a long line that's going to be the center front and back. Then I'm going to start with the front that I'm going to place right on the line and trace all around. Before to remove your block from the plan, I want you to trace the inside line, the seam line, so you remember that the seam allowance were already included. Now for this plan, I'm going to eliminate the shoulder seam. So to trace my back pattern, I'm going to flip the pattern so I have both top part of the sleeve one next to the other. And when we trace the back, we will overlap seam line on top of seam line. So we eliminate that seam. Now the easiest way to do that is to trace a parallel line inside the front, twice the seam allowance that you put on your pattern. So here I trace both the double seam allowance and the seam line. So you could see when you place your back on that your seam line are overlapping and you're going to place your back block right on the line and trace all around. Now, as you see at the presentation of the video, I did almost a dress. So just for you to know, I did elongate my top from the waist level, so the notch. I did put an extra 35 centimeter on both back and front. I'm going to start by modifying the neck. As you saw in the presentation, I did enlarge the neck to be able to put my ribbing. And the measurement that I use is about four centimeter at the shoulder, 1.5 centimeter at center front and 1.5 centimeter at center back. Now, when you have your three reference, you could just trace the line. Remember to keep it 90 degree for a little while, about two to three centimeter on center back and at least five millimeter from center front. Now we're going to trace the style line. We have two style line to do one raglan seam in the back and one straight line in the front. To do these line, you're going to look at your front neckline, find pretty much the first third from the shoulder and just mark it. Same thing in the back, look at your back neckline, divide it by three and find the one third from the shoulder. Now, first, I hope you notice I did trace my seam line because I'm planning to use this middle point, middle of the curve of my dolman, to trace my raglan seam. It's not going to be a raglan sleeve, but it's going to look like a raglan because we're going to do the style line the same way we would do or the same shape we would do for a raglan. That means from the third at the neck, I'm going to curve up for about the two third of the distance and then curve down for the last third, touching this internal point. When you're happy with your line, we're going to place a double notch, usually at the first third from the bottom because this is the back. 
now for the front style line like i said it's going to be a straight line and to trace it i'm going to ask you to find the middle between the top of the front sleeve to the bottom of the front sleeve so you measure and find the middle then you're going to trace a straight line from the third at the neck to the half at the bottom then the last thing we're going to do is to indicate on that straight line where you want to, the sleeve to start opening. If I look at it over here, it's a little past the shoulder point. So I'm going to measure from the shoulder tip a few centimeters, maybe three or four centimeters, and just place a notch. Now you could see the three piece on the plan. So you have the front until this straight line. You have the sleeve and you have the back. Now, if you wanna make a looser fit, you could do it here. You don't have to, but if you want, you could add parallel all the way to the side seam, but don't go over the underarm point that we're using. So same thing for back and front. Or the other way, you could add parallel in that case, parallel to your center front and back. You could add an extra centimeter. It's going to enlarge a bit the neck, but it's okay also. So a centimeter or two parallel to the center front or a centimeter or two to the side seam. Now the plan is finished so I'm going to be able to trace my pattern piece. I will start with the back. So I did put another paper under and I'm going to trace with my tracing wheel all around. When you retrace your back, don't forget to do the double notch in the raglan seam, the bottom of the curved notch, and here I put the waist notch, and I'm going to add an extra notch from the center back at five millimeters, so I will have a double notch when it's completely open. My piece is cut on fold one time. Now the block that I use had already the seam allowance, so the only place I need a new seam allowance is at the raglan seam because it's a construction line that I just did. Then you could cut all around. Now the first piece is done. We're going to be ready to trace the sleeve piece. So I did put another piece of paper under and, and I'm going to trace all around with my tracing wheel. Once your sleeve is retraced, we're going to add the missing seam allowance. On the back raglan seam, we're going to put the same seam allowance. So for me, it's one centimeter. But on the front, since there's a part of it that is open, we need more like a hem. So I'm going to ask you to put parallel 1.5 centimeter or a little wider seam allowance. When it's done, you could just cut all around. Now your sleeve is done, but we're not going to put the information on because it's not really going to be a pattern piece since we're going to glue it on the front pattern piece. So now put another paper under your plan and trace all around the front pattern. Now the front is retraced, we're going to be able to add the only seam allowance missing. And like we did on the sleeve, it's going to be a 1.5 centimeter parallel to the top part of the sleeve. Now the front is done, and if you notice, I just turned my paper around so you could see the full pattern piece. Now you're going to take your sleeve piece and put it back the way you had it from the plan. So just like that, overlapping the style line that we did on the front sleeve and front and you're going to take the sleeve flip it towards the bottom a first time and then flip it towards the right so you could come and place both hem lines together matching the top part just like that now you have the choice or you glue your sleeve piece onto your front pattern paper or you trace it all around. Now, as you could see, I did trace mine all around. It's going to be a little easier for the manipulation we still have to do. Now, before doing this last step, I decided to show you on the real garment 
what we're going to be doing. Here you could see the front style line that we did that becomes the opening for the arm. And if we look at the back, you could see the side seam that becomes the underarm of the dolman and it's ending with a little curve. So this part from the raglan seam in the back to the end of this little curve is what we're going to do right now. To do that last step, you're going to find two points. First on the sleeve, the inside point, so the seam line at the intersection of the raglan back seam and the underarm of the sleeve, so right here, and the corresponding point on your front, so the middle one, the middle of the curve, inside point, right there. Then you're going to connect these two points with a straight line. Once your line is traced, you're going to measure and find the center. Then from the center line, you're going to trace a line 90 degree from that line that you just traced. Now we're ready to trace that little curve. I would say you start tracing maybe the, uh, the one third from the center line from here to here. So first third from the middle line and pretty much at the same distance on the square line. So until there. Then you're going to use the straight line so it gives you, it gives you a little more fabric. Then you're going to add your seam allowance parallel to that new line. When your seam allowance is added, you're going to fold on that half line that you have. Then with your tracing wheel, just retrace this new line with the curve. Now your front pattern is also finished. We need to add a few more notches. So one is going to be at the intersection of the outside line because you have a corner here. So you're going to do the notch in an angle in direction of the inside point. So the X that I have right now. So just like that, you're going to add also a notch at the center front neckline. And of course, because you have more than a centimeter seam allowance, you're going to need notch on both sides to indicate the 1.5. Then you could cut your pattern piece Now the two main pieces for this top are finished. We have the back and the front, but as you saw in my presentation, I also did a neck piece and a sash that I will give you the measurement right away. About the neck piece that I did for this style, it's a rectangle piece. I did measure my neck. Remember to take the measurement of the seam line without the seam allowance. So the front, the sleeve part, and the back part. Now for this example, I found a measurement of 30 centimeters. And remember that this is half the neck. So on a straight line, I'm going to put my 30 centimeter, but minus 20%. For this example, if you don't want to calculate too much, let's say that 10% would be minus 3 centimeter. So minus 20% would be minus 6 centimeter. So on a straight line, I'm going to put my 30 minus 20%, so 24 centimeter. And on both sides of my 24 centimeter, I'm going to square a line of 10 centimeter. Then I trace the top part. Here's your neck piece finished that should be in ribbing. It's going to be cut on fold and just place a notch at the center front on both sides. Now, if you want to do the opening like my top for the neck, here I did it on 12 centimeter on the collar and about 15 centimeter on the top. Here, how we're going to indicate it. I said 12 centimeter. This is a half pattern, so I put my notch at 6 centimeter on both sides of my collar piece. Now on the bodice, I found about 15 centimeter. So from the center front, I'm going to measure on the seam line, 7.5 centimeter and just place a notch. Now for the sash, here's what I did. I cut a very long piece on the grain line of two meter long and 20 centimeter wide. And at both hands, 
to be able to do my little marrow edge finishing, I just did the point one side up and one side down and I did it with a little curve. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you share my video. Thanks for watching and I see you next time.